How many mountains to get some confidence? How many debates to earn some tailwind? The years pass. I'm still the same. Hi everyone, it's Mary Beth. Welcome to my channel today. I am so excited to be a co-host of the monthly collab called what month is it? It's hosted every month by Tammy at Happiness Created and Sun from Sun's Art is the other co-host. And today's guest host is Lisa from Crafting My Best Life. Oh my goodness. How exciting. This is a monthly collab. So if you are interested, here are the rules. You just have to create one project that represents the month. And then, of course, mention the host and all that in your description box. So if you're a creator and you are interested, um, you can contact Tammy and she can give you all the details. All right. So I've got three projects for you today, of course, representing the month of May. Um, I got this. I don't even know what this is <laughs> from the Goodwill. It's just like a... Um, Maybe it was kind of a shelf thing. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but I'm going to mix Truffle by Waverly with Black by, I think that was Apple Barrel. And I just wanted a little bit of a darker color is all. And then I'm going to dry brush it with several different colors. So I'm going to start with Elephant, as you can see here. And then we will move on to Milk Jug. Okay, I love that color, Milk Jug. It's by Folk Art. And it's kind of in between, I guess, a white and an ivory. I don't really know. But anyway, I do like it. But after that, I did decide I wanted white. Uh, so what I did is I also dry brushed white. Now, I really went crazy with the distressing. You of course, don't have to. And of course, you can use any piece of wood or whatever. Basically, what we're making is a sign with some wooden letters that I'm going to use that beautiful paper on to spell out the uh, word spring because May, you know, is springtime. And these letters I did get from, I believe it was Hobby Lobby. However, you know, there's lots of places and you could even do this on a much smaller scale. There's wooden little letters from the Dollar Tree. This, of course, is just inspiration. So I did initially paint this with Milk Jug. Later, you'll see I make, make an adjustment there. I'm going to take this paper. I love this cute little daisy paper. I have a lot of scrapbook paper because I used to do a lot of paper crafting. So I'm trying to use it up. So I'm just going to trace and then, of course, cut out. And then I'm going to use my handy dandy glue stick and just adhere it to each and every letter. And then what you're going to see is I am going to take white and repaint the sides of the letter. And then I believe I do use some Mod Podge just to really seal everything in. Okay, so while we're doing that, welcome to my channel. Again, my name is Mary Beth. I'm so happy that you are here. I really, truly am. And if you are a new subscriber or coming over from this amazing playlist, welcome. I like to do all sorts of DIYs. So I love to do uh, rustic as well as farmhouse, shabby chic, little boho mixtures of, of uh, genres together. Very eclectic that way. So I uh, just like to provide as much inspiration as I possibly can. So if you are interested in any of that, I do hope you would consider uh, subscribing to my channel. And if you are an existing subscriber, you already know. I'm so, so, so grateful for you. So thank you so much for returning. Thank you for supporting my channel always. I, I truly appreciate it. We just hit 5,000. Can you believe it? That is amazing. I am just beyond. I don't, I don't even know. I can't even wrap my head around it, honestly. And I know that's super small in the grand scheme of things with YouTube, but it's not about numbers to me. What it's really about is bringing inspiration in this community, which I think is just so, so amazing. It really is a truly fantastic community to be a part of. And so, yeah, a milestone of 5,000 is a big deal to me. I'm not going to lie, but again, it's, it just means I have a bigger YouTube family and more people to interact with. And 
I just really enjoy it. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm trying to put together something. I don't know. We actually just got a house. <laughs> so we're going to be moving within the next month. So I'm going to be putting out videos as much as I can over the next month. But I will be excited to share with you uh, the, the house and walking through. And God knows I'm going to need all of your help <laughs> to decorate and make decisions and all that. So it, it should be a fun journey. It's an older home. Nothing like crazy, but for us, it's perfect and we're super excited. So stay tuned for all that. Okay. So as you can see, I'm adhering the letters or getting ready to here to my wood piece, whatever that is. Now I'm using some wood glue as well as hot glue. I put the wood glue all over the letter. It is not necessary because you can see there's a raised like frame. So part of it doesn't even shut, uh, uh, touch the bottom part of that um, wood piece. So, you know, I figured that out eventually on the P, I think I figured that out. So I'm just going to adhere these. Um, they, it was a tight fit. Okay. The, but this is what I had, but these letters were pretty large. I like the fact that they were large. However, like I said, it was a tight fit. So I still think it looked uh, really good. Now, the flower for the month of May is called Lily of the Valley. I did not know what that was, but they are the cutest little flowers. And so I did order those and they are listed in my Amazon storefront, which by the way is listed in my description box. And there they are. I just think they're so cute. So I wanted to make a swag. So I wrapped some wire around these and then you'll see me use some, um, oh my goodness. I'm looking at them right now. I can't think, I went blank. I use them all the time. Oh, there they are. What? It, I feel like an idiot. I'm sorry. Anyway, these beautiful flowers. I use these beautiful flowers and I mix them in. I was going to use some of those, but I, I, the greenery there, but I did not. And I'm just going to, you know, attach these, wrap these. I am going to use a pipe cleaner and um, you'll see this eventually. I'm going to kind of staple it to the back and then hot glue it on top. In the meanwhile, I'm going to take this white satin ribbon and just wrap around it because I, you know, I, I don't know, just to cover it up, I guess. And then I attempt to make a bow. Okay. Here's where we go with this. So I tried off camera, I don't know, five times. I really need to get a, a bow maker. Okay. That's where I'm at. So any suggestions? I think what's one called like the easy bow maker. I don't know. I really struggled. <laughs> so I didn't put you through that. And you'll see the bow here in a minute. But, you know, I'm really good at making messy bows <laughs> and like shoestring bows. But I don't know. I want to get better at making the, you know, fancy bows. That's what I call them, fancy schmancy bows. So we're going to attach the bow and then we're just going to attach this to the sign. Get out of town. See the beautiful world around. Want to see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. real far let's get out we can leave this city let's drive to the open air yeah the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair we can look back someday baby don't you understand that we only get one life on It's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two. Hey, darling. Okay, I really hope that you liked that first DIY. It was a lot of fun to make. All right, moving on to the second DIY. This one's really quick and simple. I got this uh, wooden cutting board. I couldn't think of the name of it. <laughs> From Chalk Couture, I am going to use Chalk Couture on this project. However, inspiration, you can use any cutting board. I know uh, Dollar Tree sells them. I could never find them. So I'm going to mix, again, the truffle and the black. I, I wanted to change. I wanted this to be a little darker. So I'm just going to mix that up again. But this time, I am going to use water on the board first. So it's more of a stain, right? And I'll wipe it off. All that good stuff. So I'm going to mix this and then I'm going to spray the board with some water and then I'm going to put this mixture on and wipe it off. 
and I think it gives it a really nice a nice look so I do that all over front back you know the whole the whole bit and then when I'm done with that we I will show you the choices that I had for a pattern for this and the chocolate is like a I don't know how to describe it it's like a is it a silk screen stencil it's a reusable stencil basically and you use chalk paste on it at first I was going to use that welcome spring since you know May is spring however I wanted this to last longer than spring so I just went with a simple grow right because I think that can last I mean, if you want, really, all year long, but, you know, definitely through summer and stuff. So I'm going to use some white, or excuse me, no, clear wax from the DIY Paint Company. I love their products. I've been using them for several years, and she has amazing wax. So I just wanted to seal in the paint mixture, and now we're going to just adhere or, you know, put this uh, stencil on there. I'm going to use white. I think it's called bright white chalk paste. And then I'm going to use um, this really pretty green color for the leaves and that little flower. Now, um, you can also find, you know, you can find these types of stencils all over the place. I, if I remember, I will leave a link to Chocotur if you're interested in, you know, finding some of their products. All right. So, yeah. And this stuff is easy to, I'm not the best. <laughs> I've only done it a few times, but it really isn't hard. You just, you know, you don't want to use too much. You don't want to use too little. But look at it. It just comes out crisp, crisp and clean. And I really do like it. So I made these two little bows off camera. Sorry about that. And I know in the next video I lost a little bit of footage. But real simple double layered bows, you know. Um, one with the black and white buffalo check. And then this cute little demon, demon, dem. Oh my God. G material, demon. Dem what is wrong? <laughs> I'm going to leave this in so you can laugh. But cute other uh, fabric bow. Oh, my word. I am just, guess what? I spent so much time with the grandbabies this weekend. My mind is like mush right now. <laughs> so I do apologize. And then we're going to attach some bees. I think it turned out so super cute. All right. Make sure I have one more DIY. However, we do have the playlist listed in my description box. If I remember, I'll pin it as a comment. I'm also going uh, to do list the host, Tammy, as well as Sun's channel and Lisa Marie's channel. And I apologize. It's Lisa. Lisa Marie and crafting my best life with Lisa Marie. I'll list her channel as well. All right, moving on to the last DIY. Now, this is my least favorite. Look at this. This piece, is, it's it's actual China. I looked it up. You'll see I looked it up online because I'm like, is this like really good China or whatever? And I did find it. I think it's very easy to find. It was like 20 some dollars, you know, so it's not like I'm painting some very rare or piece of china or something uh and now the color for the month of may or the birthstone is emerald so when i was looking at emerald and reading a little bit about it it's it's a cool tone of green and it also has more of a blue tint to it so i did my best and i just now i'm gonna use this multi-surface paint from folk art because it works on glass and things like that i gotta tell you i was super impressed okay super impressed how well it painted and adhered to this china so just to let you know because i don't think i've used the multi-surface on glass before oh my gosh really impressed all right so i did my best just to mix <laughs> yellow and blue makes green but I used a little bit of blue, more blue than the yellow, just to try to make it uh, cooler and have a little bit more of a tint of green uh, or blue rather. Now you're going to see it's pretty translucent because I'm going to do thin coats. I always do when I paint glass or pottery or, you know, china plates, whatever. And so this one, though, it was going to take a lot of coats to cover that beautiful artwork on this china. So you will see I end up using some white paint. I used this first, though, because then the white paint went on really nicely uh, on the multi-surface paint. And then I went back and painted it with the green, and it, it just didn't take nearly as many coats. So that's how I achieved that. And, of course, I am going to use Lily of the Valley as the flowers um, since it's, you know, May, the May color. 
but first I will seal it. And what you're going to see me do is I got these rub-on transfers online from Amazon. They are listed in my storefront. The reason why is I could never find the really good ones at Dollar Tree and stuff. So I was like, oh my gosh, I just need to look online. I was tired of looking. So I did find some. I got a pack, that pack right there of four of them. And each of them have two sheets in it, like two separate sheets, different. And I want to say it was like four something or five dollars. So it's very inexpensive, I think. Don't quote me, I think. So we're going to rub these on and then we will add the flowers and I add a little bow. I lost the footage of me just putting the bow on. I'm defeated and withdrawn Just trying to understand where it went wrong Always believe that nothing good in life is free But it's over. Okay, I fiddled around <laughs> with these flowers uh, and putting them in this little china pitcher. I ended up having to remove some leaves. There were too many leaves, whatever. I, I still think it turned out cute. I, it's kind of growing on me. It's not my favorite DIY from today. You'll have to let me know what you think. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's a cute little thing. I just think I... I don't know. I fiddled a lot with the flowers, so you'll see. And sorry, uh, the bow, I just did a simple bow and hot glued it on the front. I, I lost that footage, but there it is. I, I'm showing you the back or whatever for some reason. So here's our final reveal with all three of them put together. And there they are. I do think they turned out cute. I really hope that you like them. I hope they give you some inspiration. Again, you could use the word summer, fall with different colors. You know, it's just a inspiration. And please do not forget to check out the playlist of all the wonderful, talented creators, as well as Tammy and our other co-host and guest host. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.